Developing tonight, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement just announced it has completed testing more than 8,000 rape kits that had gone untested for years. Yeah, we first broke this story on ClickOrlando.com this afternoon. New 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky joins us now with how this will help solve past and future crimes. Adriana? Yeah, that DNA evidence is crucial to solving and prosecuting sexual assault crimes and other crimes too. And today, I got to speak with members of the lab that helped test and extract all of the DNA stored in those backlogged rape kits and got it entered into the national database. The work is clinical and precise and can hold the key to solving a heartbreaking crime. Today, forensic analysts showed us the steps they went through to clear thousands of backlogged sexual assault kits. I, I don't think the community necessarily realizes the number of sexual assaults that occur uh, because a lot of people don't report them. Each envelope holds a DNA sample taken from a victim, a sample that when tested could reveal if her attacker's DNA was captured too. That evidence is then entered into CODIS, a nationwide crime database. But most of the time, these analysts have no idea what the evidence reveals once it leaves their hands. Correct. We, most of the time, we do not know exactly how, how the cases turn out because the volume is so high. Today's FDLE report shows here in Central Florida, more than 1,800 kits were submitted and tested and resulted in more than 420 CODIS hits. I'm sure a lot of people are relieved and not to mention getting those people off the streets that um, the crimes that they would have committed in the future are stopped. But could some of these crimes have been prevented had the test been submitted sooner? Johnson says yes. He admits a lot of the rape kids they tested were older and had been tucked away in a police evidence room for years. And so a lot of the victims uh, went many years um, not knowing where their assailant was out on the streets, in jail, or in living in fear, I'm, I'm sure. A law passed back in 2016 now requires all rape kits to be processed by a lab within 120 days. And prior to that law, Florida, Florida did not require rape kits to be tested at all. Now, for more information on this story and how many cases were submitted in your county, head to clickorlando.com. Adriana Ivashinsky, Getting Results, News 6.